Hey guys, I know I spoke to you this morning and this afternoon, but I'm back again because it is now after the exam and um, how did it go? Did it go good? Did it go bad? Um, because I know for some of you, you'll be surprised by how easy it went and some of you are going to be really, really upset this afternoon. So there are a few things we can do because we still have another five science papers. I, oh, I'm really sorry. Um, there are still another five science papers to go, so there are still a few things that um, we can do to put in place now so the rest of those science papers um, go a bit better than the one today, if the one today didn't go very well. If the one today did go very well, then well done you. Um, practice papers. I know I've said this before, but practice papers, doing as many practice questions as you can. Can. If you don't have it already, then over on my website you can go and download a free revision guide. And it's just a list of everything the examiners expect you to know. So if there was anything in the exam today that you're kind of like, I didn't know this, my teacher didn't tell me this, I didn't know I had to know this, well, I'm trying to help you fix that because I've just given you a list of things that you need to know and links out to places that you can go and find out about them so that we can try and prevent you not knowing large chunks again because if you know that you need to know them and we have time before your next exam we can go and fix that and uh, we can make you know stuff that's a really bad sentence I'm so lucky I've got Stacey helping me with English videos anyway um English tomorrow by the way I know you know, there's English tomorrow. Stacey's done some brilliant workbooks over on my website. Stacey's channel is awesome. So tonight you should be watching Stacey's channel for English or Rhythm. Um, anyway, back to what we should do. Oh, I'm such a scatterbrain at the moment. It's awful. Right, back to what we should do if our science exam didn't go very well. So number one is find out what you need to know. You can go and download that for free from my website. Number two is work on your recall of things so using flashcards um flashcards are going to be great there were loads of those already up on quizlet so we need to know kind of like ions for chemistry circuit symbols for physics loads and loads of stuff like that that we know is going to come up in the exam but we just don't know exactly which bit is going to come up in the exam i would be astonished if um next week there were no circuit symbols in the paper at all, I'd be absolutely astonished. And um, so get started on your recall, all those little bits that you kind of like, maybe assume they're easy so you don't spend so much time working on them and then that can be like a key thing to interpreting a question. So those are really important things to spend your time on. And then the last thing you can do is as many practice papers or workbooks as you can get your hands on. Now, hopefully you know that I've written you a load of predictive papers um, and and please tell me how good my predictions were for today's exam. Um, you know, sometimes I'm really good, biology last year was really, really, like, really, really good. So, how are my predictions for this paper? It's generally some of them I get really, really good and some of them I don't. But anyway, as many papers as you can are really, really good revision. Again, I've written you workbooks for the practicals, so just do as many questions as you can get your hands on. Um, I'm going to be trying to do as many live streams as I can to help you out um, on YouTube and over on Instagram as well. Um, just like I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way. You know, you're working really, really hard. I'm working really, really hard. And then when physics paper two is over in the middle of June, then we can all sit down and relax and have a little nap and stop working quite so hard. Um, but yeah, guys, we are in this together. I'm going to be here with you every single step of the way.